October 7th, Saturday, 1120 Mountain Time, 120 Central Time, 2017. Hurricane Nate is approaching landfall near New Orleans, Slidell, uh, lower parts of Mississippi, Alabama. It's going to affect all of these Gulf states in probably multiple ways. I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't hail um, in areas. There almost has to be based off of the personality of this storm. And I will do my best to explain. Normally, the black and the, the light blacks that you see right here are about as tall as they, they ever get on these instruments. And that's very extreme, just so you know. And normally, when I see storms like that over land, that indicates large hail, or at least the possibility thereof. And I have a feeling that this storm is going to deliver about everything on the hurricane menu. Storm surge, flooding, high winds, tornadoes, and hail. And let me explain. Last night when we saw this storm rapidly intensify, it went into the white category over parts of the center of rotation. That is extreme height. At that point in time, it was probably reaching minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 80 degrees Celsius. That's a very tall storm. So it was reaching way up into the atmosphere. What happens when thunderstorms do that? They develop hail, right? We talked about that with Maria. Remember after the sunset with Maria, like this one here, you could still see the reflectivity off the cloud tops. You can see it with uh, Nate as well. It's a very tall, healthy storm. The National Weather Service out of Mo uh, Mobile just confirmed that. And they are showing that this purple around the center of rotation is telling observers that the height of that storm is at minus 90 degrees Celsius. That's minus 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So that could generate some extreme hail and more than likely tornadoes. At least the conditions will be very favorable for that. So this thing's going to make landfall probably sooner than this evening. I would say mid-afternoon conditions are probably already starting to deteriorate very quickly. And once they do start to deteriorate, they're going to go very fast. So you need to take this storm uh, seriously. It's going to be a strong storm. That right there is something that is is at least new to me. I've never seen a, a hurricane quite that tall. Like I said, I didn't see it with Irma, Maria, or Harvey. And I'm seeing it on this storm here. Um, it's still expected to make landfall as a Cat 2 in about 12 hours. I think it will be sooner than that. Uh, wind speeds of 90 knots, that's over 100 miles per hour. So prepare for a big storm, guys. Prepare for hail. Um, there could be a mixed bag with this storm. Like I said, probably everything on the hurricane menu this thing's going to have to offer. Thanks for watching, and definitely be safe out there.